It is the 8th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, we're going to go ahead and start on SOT.net tonight. They've got a reoccurring story uh, in Texas, worst drought on record, trees dying by the millions. A previous report put out by the hundreds of millions. And uh, like a story out, drought-stricken trees are visible in a residential area in Austin, Texas. The full effect of Texas record-breaking drought and scorching hot summer on the state's trees will be revealed next spring with a changed landscape emerging in many places. And you got to remember, they had these mega, mega, mega fires last year. Uh, no real rain to speak of. Crop loss, the works. Uh, they got a global economy, fear, peace, blah, blah, blah. Uh, will <laughs> the United States will winter kick into high gear soon? Uh, there are signals pointing towards a return to a large storms over the part of the United States along with another cold wave from the Midwest to the east beginning during the middle of January. Uh, while the record warmth in the west and the Sierra Nevada snow drought may continue, folks in the east were recently reminded that winter can still pack a punch. Uh, temperatures dropped dipped to 17 degrees Wednesday morning in Washington, D.C. This matched the lowest temperatures of the entire season last winter. Tuesday was a war was uh, warmer in Calgary, Alberta, 50 degrees than it was in Walt Disney World, 49 degrees. Lake effect snow finally hit, depositing one to two feet of snow in some of the snow belts. And a uh, very unusual winter, and a lot of uh, you have been commenting to me how uh, everything seems to be about a month behind right now. Uh, oddly mild winter leaves much of U.S. on thin ice. Unusually mild weather is spoiling the fun for hockey players, skaters, and ice fishermen across the Northeast and Midwest as officials warn of uncommonly thin ice. Plutonium from Fukushima, from Fukushima made it around the planet. A uh, recently published study in the Journal of Environmental Radioactivity confirms that the radioactive fallout from the Fukushima nuclear disaster reached Europe, uh, Lithuania specifically, and included plutonium, the most deadly man-made element nanogram for nanogram in existence. According to the study's authors, the the concentrations measured uh, indicate there was long-range air mass transport from Japan across the Pacific, the North American, and the Atlantic Ocean to Central Europe, as indicated by modeling. What this means is that every region under the jet stream, which includes half the planet north of its equator, could have been exposed to some degree of plutonium fallout. A fact that all this is the more disturbing when we consider that there is no such thing as a safe level, and that the harm on the human scale of time does not dissipate. The half life of plutonium 239 is 24,200 years, and that of uranium 238, 4 billion, 460 million years which is older than our planet. Still think uh, nuclear, uh, nuclear energy is the way to go? Criminal, criminal. Hundreds evacuate as activity rises in Indonesia's Mount... Uh, another volcano in Indonesia. Uh, definitely a bunch of them gearing up down there. Over to the extinction protocol. Well, they've got a story of Mother Nature unleashes her fury in the first week of 2012. Manila, Philippines, rescuers dug through rock and mud Friday looking for people feared buried, buried by a deadly landslide at a remote gold mining community, said officials, vowed to shut down the unsafe mine sites. At least 25 or people were killed uh, before dawn on Thursday when a rock and mud avalanche buried a mountain settlement for gold prospectors who had refused to leave in, uh, an area declared too dangerous for habitation. Dike bursts in Brazil. A uh, dike burst in Brazil's flood hit northern Rio de Janeiro state Thursday, forcing the evacuations of nearly 4,000 residents, authorities said. Rising water levels on the Murray River due to the torrential rains of the past few days caused a rupture of a bridge that serves as a dike protecting the town, um, one of the rescuers said. 
Dutch village hammered by gale force winds. Around 10 people were evacuated Thursday from a village in northwest of the Netherlands as high waters threatened to overwhelm a dike, local authorities said. But the dike at the village um, was expected to hold. A spokeswoman for the Dutch Department of Highway and Bridges told APF, We no longer expect the dike to give way, but it also depends on the wind. And again, high winds, high waves... And they have the seven-day global disaster story. New study suggests mercury from firestorm of volcanic eruptions caused past extinction. Mass extinctions during the catastrophe climate change were caused by a huge mercury levels, Canadian scientists said. The Earth's greatest global loss of life around 250 million years ago wiped out almost all the marine creatures and most of the land dwellers. Now, researchers at the University of Calgary have published a paper uh, which blames the massive mercury levels from volcanic eruptions, 30 times greater than those have seen today. And that's one of the greatest producers of mercury is volcanic eruptions. And three earthquakes strike nuclear plant region of Fukushima District. Uh, yeah, they're saying the number four is leaking. I'll get into that later. And uh, magma plume renewed activity at Canary Island, uh, El Euro Volcano, the subterranean or sub-ocean volcano that's uh, off the coast there. Continued activity. they got some great videos of that. Uh, raise alert status, 300 temp tremors reported over 26-hour period at Chile's Lascar Volcano. Uh, ongoing situation there as well. Um, over to the RSOE. What do they have new? Uh, had another meteors come in in Mexico this time, and they are out looking for this uh, pretty big meteor that they confirmed fell to in northern Mexico. Uh, they think it's uh, they're searching over in Chihuahua State now for it. Volcanic activity in the Canary Islands, of course. Uh, extreme weather continues in the United Kingdom. Uh, they're saying the weather's not going to be as bad as this as it has been. High winds, uh, rains, that kind of thing. But the ground is so saturated, it can't take any more rain than it already has. And it's just going to go straight into the rivers and cause more problems and that kind of thing. So uh, you are not out of the woods by far. And I'm sure that goes for Ireland as well. And of course all the, um, the volcanoes activity that's been going on all week. Uh, that is about it climate change wise tonight over to ENA news the nuclear stuff um, NRC March email spent fuel number four was likely dry enough to lead to catastrophic explosion structural damage to pool area known to exist pool leakage is likely uh, Fukushima worst case beyond 250 kilometers could be evacuation zone if fuel and, and uh, Number four melts covering pool reactors with sand mixture was considered as last resort. And uh, government health ad advisor, this is great. Fukushima has beaten Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Hey, you become famous without any efforts. Huge mysterious spike in cesium fallout after New Year's quake, and they have charts to combine on that. That's definitely something to look into. Uh, a huge cesium spike up denotes. Um, quite an explosion. 40 years limit on reactors would not change anything. Government trying to ease escalating public distrust for nuclear. You gotta remember this waste, it, it, its half-life is older than the earth itself. Uh, the arrogance of these people is just unbelievable. Worst case scenario a map showed Japan cut in half by forced evacuation zone. And uh... Yeah, that's about it new they have today. Uh, the one more thing I wanted to share is uh, there is a video out of um, the Phobos Grunt satellite um, shot by a French guy. I will connect a link to that. Um, it definitely shows it's still pretty much in one piece, um, but it's definitely losing altitude if you check the Phobos website on that as well. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Leave your comments or attach your videos below, of course. Uh, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks a lot.